Hi everyone, this is Monique with VGANetwork.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a database on Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I'm going to show you two ways to do this, um, one through the GUI and the other one through a SQL execute command. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is open up SSMS and then go to your SQL instance and expand that out. And here you can see databases, security, server objects, replication, high availability, and so forth. You want to go ahead and expand the database and right click and choose new database. And here you're presented with your database name, the owner, the logical files, and the locations. Now here you can see that the default auto growth is one megabyte and by 10% unlimited you can specify this per your company's recommendation. You can also change the path. I prefer to have the databases and log files on separate drives. And you can also specify the file name. Now here I'm going to go ahead and create the database called Warcraft. It's a very fun strategy game that I like to play. And here you can go ahead and change the owner. Now let's say you have a particular owner that you only want associated to this particular database. You can go ahead and specify that here in this particular field. Now you can go in and change the options as well. You can change the collation, um, your recovery model. Um, some people prefer to have a simple for more lightweight, others prefer to have a full recovery model. Here you can also change the compatibility level um, depending on if you need databases within 2005, 2008 and so forth. And your containment type. And then under here you also have the ability to modify certain functionalities for recovery, service broker, state, uh, miscellaneous, file stream and so forth. Do not have file stream enabled, but you can also do this uh, during the SQL Server 2014 install as well. And here you can also go ahead and specify file groups. So now I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. And here you can see that my database called Warcraft has been successfully created. Now the other option you can go ahead and create a database is through a SQL execute statement. So go ahead and right click on your instance and choose new query. Now once the screen has been populated you can go in and type create database StarCraft which is another fun strategy game that I like to play. And then you can go ahead and click on your keyboard on F5 or you can go ahead and choose the execute button. Now here you can see that I went ahead and just clicked F5 on my keyboard. And you can review your message that it completed successfully. Now let's go ahead and refresh the databases. Now you can see that the StarCraft database has been successfully created and then what you can do is you can go in and you can modify the properties for the SQL database here as well. And you can see that the owner that was specified was SA and you can go ahead and change the owner if preferred. Uh, file groups, options, change tracking, additional permissions, and so forth. Thank you everyone for, for watching my video on how to create a SQL database on SQL Server 2014. Please check out my other videos and my website at vganetwork.com. Thank you.